Greetings and salutations, Dobo Nation, Johnny on Super Kirk here. Five seconds later from when you last saw me, at least if you watched my last video, which if you didn't watch the last video, watch the last video, because we put on the exhaust and it was awesome. But um, now I'm here, I gotta rip apart the suspension. I got, I don't know where I put it, but it's somewhere, a 10 millimeter flare nut wrench. Let me show you guys what that looks like as soon as I find it. Okay, so it's this, a flare nut wrench. See how it's like wraps around on that side? So that supposedly should wrap around our brake line, grab it real tight, and pull it right out. I'm really hoping this works. I have no idea. I might just strip it some more. We are gonna see. But this needs to, my camera needs to charge a little bit, so I'm gonna let it down to charge uh, while I wrench on this and, and get at these brakes. Uh, the brakes I've already pulled out, like the pins and all that stuff and the bolts and everything. I just need the line out. This is rounded, that's rounding off, so I gotta get that one or else this thing's not coming off at all. So that's fantastic. So yeah, that's the that's the dilemma. Uh, I'm gonna try my hardest to not screw this up worse. This is gonna be quite the day. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be quite the day. I have a lot of hours, a lot of energy, and a lot of rusty bolts to take off. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this front side. I'm gonna disassemble the wheel bearing. I'm gonna disassemble the whole suspension, all of that uh, off camera. And then I'll do that side on camera so I can show you guys what actually goes on. But I gotta like learn what's going on so like I can know before, so, like so that I don't misinform you guys or nothing. But yeah, that should be okay. Uh, the next time you see me, I'm probably gonna be really dirty, really greasy. It's gonna be probably much darker outside and I might, I, I might have even changed shirts, I don't know. But uh, yeah, next time you see me, that front one will be taken apart and then we'll do the same for the rear. Oh boy. Guys, finally, we have a W. We have a W. Dotson, zero, me. Actually, you know, it's like Dotson, like five at this point, me, like three. But, anyways, we got the spring out. We got the whole spindle axle thing out. There's, there's a, one part of the bearing still on there. All my other stuff I took out is there. The. The flare nut wrench worked. It worked on this brake line up here, which I just had to take off that and just take off the whole brake line after that. And I had to chop off, let me see. And I had to chop off the brake clip right there. But thankfully that's gonna be chopped off anyway for our coilovers, so that doesn't really matter. So I just ordered new tie rod ends because these are shit. I have, I have new uh, ball joints on the way. These are horrible. Um, I, I undid all this stuff and like didn't even need to like I undid the, I mean this has to come out This was like this is all all messed up. This is this is like I, I have to cut this out for sure Gotta cut this out. Thankfully we have a new one. So that's okay. This all came out I'm so happy it actually came out. Uh, it's probably ruining our alignment right now, but oh well That's gonna be hard to take out of there now I'm gonna show you guys how I did that the simpler way because I wasted a bunch of time doing things I didn't need to be doing on the other side all right guys so we're gonna focus on just getting this stub axle part here out so first place you got to start is the center right here so this normally has a dust cap on it the dust cap was taken off of this one uh, so I do not have it but we're gonna wipe all the grease out. We're gonna worry about the grease later. Right now, we just wanna get everything di disassembled so that we can cut these things, hopefully on Friday. All right, so first we're gonna start with the cotter pin right here. You gotta like unbend it all the way around. It's like all nice and wrapped up in there. Do your best to make it as straight as possible. It doesn't gotta be perfect. Thankfully, this one kinda hooks in. Use a hammer. That is the easiest cotter pin of this whole install or disassembly. Got a little box right here for all my bolts and pins and greasy crap. <laughs> all right, these gloves are not going to last very long. But that's okay. So, we'll remove this right here. Cool. So that comes off. Now, the rotor's ready to come off, but we didn't take off our caliper yet. So now let's get this off. To do that, 
I've already undone the caliper bolts. There's two big bolts on the back here. Both of those are, uh, I think these are like 17s. Save those for after. I did them first. Uh, you should do them after so that your, your, your brake's not like shaky and everything. But now all my, my stuff's loose. In fact, I didn't even remove the clips yet. So actually I should probably do that first. Hold on. <laughs> so there's a little retainer clips right in here. My hands are all greasy now. So we'll clip up here. I think my uh, the, the the other brake only had two of these, so <laughs> actually no, there are only two of these. You might need to like turn it a bit to get it to be where you need it, but then you got it. You want to use your pliers. You want to push these things in as far as you can. And try to see if you can get them out the other side. Whoop! And there goes the retainer clip for the brake pad. <laughs> okay, now I gotta gotta do the other one. Cool. And this clip decided not to fling out at us. All right, so that's everything for the brake. Now we just need to get the line off. This is where I had a lot of issues last time. And this is why I bought the flare nut wrench. See, see how, so this is a flare nut wrench. This is a regular 10 mil. See how they're like sort of different like that? Well, this supposedly wraps around the bolt a lot better. And I'd agree, I, I think it does. I put a lot of um, stuff on these to, you know, make them not so, uh, not so tight. I'm gonna try to get the one off of the back of the caliper off. Hopefully it comes off. The other side, sadly, was not so lucky, and uh, this one in particular is completely rounded off. Same with uh, the other one over there. But it's still usable, and it's okay. One caliper. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, don't fall on me. Almost got that thing out. So you have to like, geez. like trying to get this thing out. I just got it with my my finger now because. Sure. But you can like catch it on the back of something over there, so it comes off more easily. Yeah, there's a bunch of freaking nasty goop in there, but we're gonna take care of that later. Also, guys, sadly, we're not replacing the rotors. I know, I know. It's just for H2O. It's just going down and back. The rotors will be fine. The pads in this car are actually pretty, really good. They're like new. They're like basically, I mean, they're not like new, but they got some thickness to them. So the pads are fantastic as I, as I suspected and thankfully was right about. Now there's two bolts underneath that we got to get. There's one over here and one over here. Just, just these two bolts. Once we got those two, we can push the uh, control arms down and uh, lift this out Guys by the way if you're working on an old car and you don't have a breaker bar What are you doing? You need need a breaker bar. This thing has been so clutch. I can't even tell you guys Ooh, Nice and smooth Yeah. Oh, that leverage. Oh, the leverage. Oh boy, I gotta get that out so I can get this off. Oh crap. <laughs> Give me one minute guys, I forgot. There's a little clip on here that's easy to take out when you don't spin the whole freaking thing, but I spun the whole freaking thing, so. Now I gotta take it out another way, that's harder. But normally you can just get a long screwdriver and just pry it against this against this tension arm right here. And like pry it off basically. But I screwed up. So I, I gotta get this off and then this will come out. Hey. 
and there she blows. There we go, brake line is off. Now we can take this off. There we go, that's off. Now we're just gonna take it off the top and it'll come right out. So real quick, what the FedEx guy just delivered was these ball joints for the front suspension. So that's what I actually just took out of that bottom socket down there. We're replacing those. And, and like I said earlier, I, I ordered some tie rod ends. So hopefully this suspension up here will be looking a little bit, a little bit more decent for our long drive down to each floor. Honestly, I don't know what is going to fail on this car. I keep trying to predict it, keep trying to think about what it's gonna be. But really, I can't predict anything. I have no idea. So the only thing we can really do is just think of everything that we can and hope we thought of the right thing. But something tells me that we're missing something. I don't know what, but we're missing something. Hopefully it's not something too bad. But anyways, let me get this spring out. Then we'll talk more about that. Up top, all these are just 14s. Not hard to take out. Nice. Oh, hey. Oh, just fell on my foot. But I found my 10 millimeter ratchet. Ah, that's out. So once again, I'm gonna figure out how to do it on this side and then show you guys me doing it on that side. So I don't know how much time will pass from now and the next time I see you, but hopefully it's not too much time. It's like uh, four o'clock now. And, no, it's like five o'clock now. And apparently there's rain coming. So I'm gonna try to get this out at the very least, just get this out. And uh, hopefully this is, is successful, but. Time is running out. I gotta go. Um, I'm pretty sure I just gotta take off the drum brake cover, take off the brake line, and then I just attack the bolts that hold on that whole like bit. So hopefully it's as simple as that. Oh yeah, and the axle. The axle is the one that that worries me. I do need to go get another 14 mil ratchet or wrench. But all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Let myself go. Attack these bolts. Oh boy. Oh, I got a thousand. My hand ain't even clean, dog. Whatever. Okay. Oh, I just banged the car. Okay. So, I've been attacking that side for like three hours. I got all the bolts off, all the bolts are off, but the axle's stuck in there. I don't really, really know exactly how to get that out. I think it might, I might need like a pickle fork separator or something like that maybe. I, I don't know. I feel like that's for ball joints though. I don't, I'm not, I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm gonna figure that out at some point in the next 24 hours because I'm gonna be back here Friday. T today is currently Wednesday. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just go to the other side and show you guys at least what I did up to the point of taking the axle out, which I guess we're gonna do all together on Friday. All right, so first we're gonna start with the uh, brake line right here. Get your flare nut wrench. Make sure it's a flare nut wrench. Don't use anything else other than a flare nut wrench. Cause then you strip bolts and then you gotta cut things and then people aren't happy. By people, I mean me. Well, I gotta get this on here first and then we'll commence. All right, that's on there. Nice twist to the left. Don't start stripping. Don't, don't, don't start stripping. I swear to God, don't start stripping. I'm going to kill you. Please don't. Oh no, oh god, oh Jesus. Oh boy, <laughs> this is not going so well already. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> every, every other, you know, every other brake line that I did off camera 
just soared off. Just came right off. Freaking perfect. But, of course, the one that I do off camera is, like, getting stuck. Hmm, boy. Might be taking these bricks out the hard way. We'll see. The hard way is I just have to go up to this one up here. Just do it up here. Oh. That hurt my soul. <laughs> the bolt didn't move at all when I did that. I just gave it a whole yank and it did not budge at all. The worst part is when you take off your wrench, you mess it up even more. Oh, oh my heart. <laughs> all right guys, so it is uh, currently 8.42. I wanted to get back to school before 10. Uh, that's probably not gonna happen because I still have to eat and do things such as that. And um, things aren't working and I'm getting frustrated. Uh, bolts are stripping. The other, the other brake bolt also stripped, so I only have one left, and after that, it's cutting time. So, I hope that doesn't happen, but it might be happening, so, I don't know. I, mm. I think I have a way to get this off, but that depends on this last bolt coming off, this last screw. I hate to have to wait two more days to take this one bolt off, because it'll give me anxiety for those whole two days, but looks like it's what I gotta do. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we've taken apart all the front suspension, which is awesome. Got most of the rear done. Uh, there's still a lot more to get done. I gotta research some things, figure out some stuff. We'll be back Friday. I guess until next time, I'll see you guys later. Uh, if, you, if you appreciate the vibes, leave a subscribe, leave a like if you like. That's all I got for today. And until the next stream. This isn't really a dream, but hopefully the next one is.